Hey there guys, Ibadeki Ben here. So I was asked recently where I can actually find the copper statues, potted plants, uh, the futuristic style lights that you get in the institute, and also some picket fences. Now you can attain all of these by actually collecting magazines. So I'm going to be showing you today uh, where all of them are so that you can have more crafting options in your settlements. So uh, the first one today is going to be the combat zone. So you need to go into the combat zone and um, there's going to be some raiders in here. Uh, I've, as you can see I've already killed the ones outside. Dog is in the way. Okay, so I know there's quite a lot of enemies in here. So uh, basically, the magazine is just here. So as you can see, I've got the magazine. I'm able to build potted plants at settlements and workshops. Now I just need to get the hell out of here. Okay, so the next one is actually going to be located in Beantown Brewery. So uh, this one's going to be uh, one of the other Picket Fences magazines. And uh, yeah, just head on over to Beantown Brewery. So yeah, once you get to Beantown Brewery, you just need to head on inside. Now there's going to be a few raiders and enemies in here. So uh, they're not so hard, fortunately, because um, generally the map kind of works on northwest is kind of the easy enemies, and moving east and south they're more difficult. So uh, you just need to clear out the brewery. So there's a few cockroaches by the sounds of it. So the magazine for this place uh, is basically down here on the floor. So uh, when you when you come in here, you can just go straight left over the bridge down here and you have to kill this guy because uh, he's quite strong and then you've got the next picket fences so this one will allow you to build actual fences at your workshops so the next magazine is in the western water treatment plant uh, this one is heavily fortified by super mutants uh, I've managed to take out most of them already uh, but you do need to be careful because one of them is a suicide with a mini nuke. Okay, so once you're inside, you're going to need to take the elevator. And uh, the elevator is going to take you to the floor that you need. Uh, you can take the stairs, but uh, I'm going to use the elevator, it's faster. Once you're out of the elevator, you just want to hang a right. Now there will be a turret up here, and there will be two more turrets in the next room. Uh, press the button to open the door, and you're going to find the Picket Fences magazine right here. So this one will enable you to build patio furniture. Next you're going to want to head over to this place, Hardware Town. So Hardware Town is uh, just basically uh, southwest of um, Diamond City. So uh, you're going to find a few more enemies in here. So uh, let's take a look in Hardware Town. Okay, so once all of the enemies are dead, uh, you're going to basically want to go back to near where the door is that you enter the main sort of warehouse area. And you'll find these stairs on the left. If you go up the stairs, you'll find a door here. Uh, so basically go through the door, and it's the first door on the right. You will find on here that storage key, and you're also going to find the next copy of Picket Fences. So this is going to enable you to be able to build some high-tech lights around your settlements. So that's the third one, so uh, let's move on to our last one. Okay, so this last one uh, is going to be at the uh, Salgas Ironworks. Uh, this is quite a difficult one because uh, most of the enemies use fire-based items and they can pretty much wipe your health out pretty quickly. So I would recommend using power armor for this. Wow. So yeah, as soon as you can, go basically straight inside of the uh, ironworks and you're going to find a lot of enemies in here that are quite high level 
and um, they're all going to have some kind of fire based items and if you get the flamers you want to take them out as quickly as possible right so once you've killed everything in the main room um, you're basically going to have to go off to the blast furnace where the boss is so if you follow the route that I'm taking now So you go through here. Around here, there's going to be a machine gun turret up on the right here, but I've already disposed of that. And you just have to go into this room and uh, you're going to find a bobblehead in here as well, but you're also going to find a boss. Now you have killed this sack of shit. Uh, basically, you're going to find that uh, you've got a bobblehead just here for explosives. So it's going to give you 15% extra. And then down here on the floor, you've got the Picket Fences magazine that's going to be able to build statues in your settlement. So statues use a lot of copper, so it's up to you whether you want to use them. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, you'll find a chest as well just here, which you've got some useful items in there. So. Yeah, I hope this video helps you out because uh, I know it's quite hard to hunt down the magazines. So I've shown all the locations and where they are. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks to everyone for watching and supporting my channel. As always, please leave a like and comment as your feedback is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe now. Also, you may like to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, add me as a friend, add me to your Google circles, follow me on Instagram, add me on Tumblr, join my group, subscribe to my Twitch account, reshare my Facebook posts, retweet all my tweets, like all my statuses and pictures coming from everything I've done, and watch every single video I've made, twice. Thank you.